The former Prime Minister of Thailand who got detained after returning to the country is expected to ask for royal pardon in the coming weeks. Chat Mongkon Pisamay Gason reports. Taksin Shinawat, the former Prime Minister of Thailand who is currently in detainment, is preparing all documents necessary to seek for royal pardon. His lawyer is currently preparing documentation to drive a request for a royal pardon, but it is not yet clear when the document will be submitted. Under normal circumstances, Thailand allows convicted inmates who have been in prison for eight years or at least serve one-third of the sentence to submit a royal pardon. However, Thaksin just returned to Thailand on August 22 after 15 years in self-imposed exile and was sentenced him to eight years behind bars as decided by the Supreme Court. Within 13 hours of his detainment, Thaksin was admitted to the police general hospital after complaining for chest pain, high blood pressure, and low blood oxygen saturation. A doctor at the medical correctional institution who reviewed Thaksin's medical records said the XPM need to be placed under special observation given his past history of illnesses. Critics question whether the Prime Minister is really ill, while the treatment Thaksin has received has led many to believe that he remains a VIP even inside prison. His daughter, Prathong Tan Shinawat, a senior member of the Thai Party, leading the incoming government, said it is up to his father if he wants to seek royal pardon, adding that such process takes time. Meanwhile, outgoing Prime Minister Bujan Osha shared his final cabinet meeting on Tuesday. Prayu said he was satisfied with his performance over the past four years and wants to spend more time with his family after ending his political career. Meta Platforms, the company that owns Facebook, rejected the proposed suspension of the Facebook account owned by Cambodia's former Prime Minister Hun Sen amid allegations he is using it to threaten political opponents. Anissa de Guzman has the details. Cambodia's Ministry of Post and Telecommunications has confirmed that Meta Platform Incorporated will no longer pursue the proposed suspension of former Prime Minister Hun Sen's Facebook account. The technology company said it has rejected the recommendation from its oversight board and noted that doing so would not be consistent with its policies, including its protocol on restricting accounts of public figures during the civil unrest. In June 2023, the 22 members of the Board of Supervisors of Meta Platforms Incorporated had recommended to suspend the former Prime Minister's Facebook account and accused him of posting prohibited content. In response, the Ministry of Post and Telecommunications had decided to expel Facebook representatives from Cambodia and stop all their activities. The ministry also declared the 22 members of the board as persona non grata. On Tuesday night, the ministry welcomed Meta's decision not to suspend former Prime Minister Hun Sen and said the 22 members of the board are not welcome in the country because they made bad recommendations that are political in nature. Cambodia's newly appointed Prime Minister Hun Manet, on the other hand, slammed his critics and told them they should eat their words after they claim the U.S. and the EU do not recognize him as the Prime Minister of Cambodia. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has declared that his country's navy will deploy nuclear weapons as the United States and its allies start new military drills in the Korean Peninsula. Sela Yoon reports. Kim Jong-un declared that the North Korean Navy will become a component of state nuclear deterrence as South Korea, the U.S. and Japan held trilateral naval drills amid nuclear threats from Pyongyang. The three allies held an 11-day summer bilateral exercise last week, August 21st, to which Pyongyang viewed as a preparation for invasion. In his speech in celebration of the country's Navy Day Laws Monday, Kim stated that there is imminent danger of nuclear war due to the U.S. provocation. Furthermore, Kim also said that the military units of each service will be given new weaponry that is aligned of the government's decision to improve its tactical nuclear weapons operation. Since the year prior, 
North Korea has conducted around 100 weapon tests, many of which are nuclear-capable missiles designed to reach the U.S., South Korea, and Japan. In addition, Kim accused the U.S. of deploying its strategic assets around the Korean Peninsula with its naval drills. He also recalled the trilateral summit among Japan, South Korea, and the U.S. that aimed to counter North Korea's nuclear program. In connection with this, Kim called U.S. President Joe Biden, South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol, and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida as gang bosses. Seoul is Boasella Yunim Nida, SMNI News, South Korea.